Hi, thank you so much for joining me, Prophetess Lenine Hanaya, on another webcast of Insights from Dr. Intimacy, where I will be giving you an enlightening look into the naked truth about sex, intimacy, and relationships from a holistic perspective, spirit, soul, and body. Well, today I'd like to pick up where I left off in the fourth session on the series on Incubus and Succubus sex demons and if this is the first video that you're seeing I want to let you know that if you visit my channel you will see all of the videos in this series there's been three recorded so far this is the fourth in the series so please follow along it, it's um, it really builds from from session to session and it will be much more enriching if you go back and look at the prior videos but I want to pick up where I left off um, and what I like to do on some of these sessions is just start off with a comment from my blog page, uh, drintimacy.wordpress.com blog, because that is really where this study in this series began, is on the blog and the loud cry for help that came to me on that blog is what really prompted me uh, to do this is what really caused me to press in and seek the Lord for answers about this. And so one of the latest comments I just want to read to you is really brief. Um, it says, I am glad that this forum exists. Sadly, the church does not want to deal with or minister in the area of deliverance. There are people who care for those hurting and being tormented. Yet, not everyone who has these type of manifestations and attacks often do not know where to turn for help. For those seeking help, continue to seek until you are set free. Blessings, Roger. Um, and that comment was left just a couple of days ago, day before yesterday. And Roger, thank you so much for commenting commenting on the blog and I'm really glad that the forum exists as well so that people can know that they're not alone alone in this struggle that it is a legitimate issue that needs to be addressed so what I want to do is I want to pick up where we left off I've actually been doing some studying out of the Bible and also my book the spirits of sexual perversion a reference book where there is a dedicated chapter to this topic and when we last left off, uh, I was talking about <clears throat> what is the purpose of incubus and succubus spirits. Why do these, which are basically lost demons, why do they come? What, what is their assignment? What is the enemy's objective in sending these spirits into your life? And we learned that the, the objective was for them to impregnate you. They actually want to leave their seed in you they want something to grow inside of you that you will eventually give birth to that can live on its own in other words they want to reproduce after their own kind they want to multiply in you and through you and so that is the purpose of incubus and succubus spirits and I'll go back and talk a little bit about uh, how, what do they they do to you and incubus spirits they they want to control you subdue you and make you feel worthless and that's really really important to understand that they are really coming to affect your self-perception they really want to affect your sense of self-worth for you to lose your identity uh, in Christ for you to lose sight of the value that you have in Christ and so they really want to make you feel worthless and that's really important to understand because somebody who doesn't recognize their own value will tolerate just about anything and that is the purpose of them making you feel worthless um, some people want more information about how they can know if they've been attacked by an incubi spirit because sometimes it's very obvious sometimes it's not and one of the things that you can know about this is that the sexual pleasure that you get from these attacks is usually a significantly more intense than natural sex. Um, these spirits have the ability to cause extreme sexual pleasure, which actually can be very addictive. And then um, 
just like with the natural sex, after an encounter with an incubi spirit, um, you will, with incubi spirits, you will feel very drained, um, worn out. Um, you may feel some symptoms in your body. And one of the things that you want to know, you're going to be fatigued, just like you would after natural sex. But that drained feeling that you have, it's really a kind of a, it's more than just feeling sleepy or tired. It is a drained, fatigued type of feeling, something that you almost feel like you can't recover from, like you can't recuperate. And that drained feeling that comes is from them coming to steal virtue from you. They want to steal the virtue of God from you. They want to steal that goodness from you, that positivity, that hope, that joy, the virtue of the fruit of the spirit. They come to steal. And so the enemy come but to steal, kill, and destroy. And so incubi spirits come to steal that virtue and they leave something else in place of that. And that is the seed that they impregnate you with. Now, I also talked about in, in the last segment uh, how they uh, can also be responsible for nightmares. And I want to talk a little bit about why they would want to cause nightmares. What does that benefit? And these are not sexual dreams, but actual nightmares. And I talked about those very realistic, heart-throbbing, disturbing, cannot forget type of nightmares. And the purpose of them causing nightmares is actually to impregnate you with fear, therefore perverting your faith. Remember, these are spirits of perversion, uh, perversion basically meaning to turn away from the right uh, from the right way to actually use, misuse something. Um, and they want, to, these are spirits of perversion. And the reason that they want to cause nightmares is to actually pervert your faith and this is really powerful now they want to impregnate you with fear uh, one of the reasons that they do that is that fear causes you to seek comfort and one of the one of the most common ways that people will comfort themselves in the flesh is through sexual activity. So by impregnating you with fear, it is that much easier to draw you into more acts of sexual sin um, when you're awake. And uh, masturbation and sexual fantasy are two of the biggest pitfalls of self-comfort that is used to that people use to help themselves get through fear because masturbation and sexual fantasy does provide that that false sense of temporary control. You do feel like you're in control. You do get to escape your reality for a brief period of time. And, and so by impregnating you with fear, now they're able to induce you to commit more acts of sexual sin. But there's something even more powerful about them impregnating you with fear. And that is what it says in the Bible, that Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So by impregnating you with fear, they are perverting your faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. So therefore, they are undermining your entire relationship with him, your joy, even your purpose for being alive. The whole duty of man is to serve God, it says in the book of Ecclesiastes. And so if it becomes impossible to please God, you, you lose your sense of purpose. Um, and once a, a human being loses that sense of purpose, hopelessness and despair sets in. And so many people begin to have thoughts of suicide and even carry it out when that happens. And so this is so deep, so significant, and, and so major. Um, and, and if it's impossible... Um, to, to let, let's look at this other scripture. Um, if it's true that all things are possible to them that believe, as it says in Mark 9, 23, then the opposite is also true. So without faith, we cannot believe anything, which means we cannot accomplish anything 
because nothing is possible to us in our subconscious minds. This is very, very powerful. People that are afflicted by these spirits will experience a tremendous amount of failure in life. This, this is so important. Listen to this. And may even feel cursed with bad luck. It's not bad luck. It is simply that your belief system has been perverted. Yes, people that suffer these attacks will experience extreme failure in life. Uh, and, and it's because these spirits actually pervert your faith to the extent where it is difficult, if not impossible, for you to believe anything. And all things are possible to him who believes. If you can't believe anything, then you can't accomplish anything. And with the fear that they bring into your life, it, essentially, it robs you and strips you of your faith. It, it takes the power away of that faith. And uh, the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. And so these spirits are actually interfering with your entire walk with God, your ability, your ability to believe, your calling, your ability to minister, success in your family, success in business, success, success in health, um, even your ability to walk uprightly and live a sin-free life. And typically you're going to be having uh, some major struggles in other areas in your life. If you're being frequented by these spirits, this won't be your only issue. But yeah, that extreme sense of failure, that feeling that things are never going to work out, that, that, that sense that everything is always sabotaged, it seems like it's going well, it seems like you have a breakthrough, and then everything falls apart, that is commonly a result of the presence uh, or the workings of incubi spirits, these lost demons perverting your faith. So really, really powerful stuff. Uh, I definitely encourage you to continue to follow this series. If you're having any of these encounters, any of these attacks, continue to follow this series. Go back and check out the videos that you missed. Keep up with the videos. I'll be posting a couple every week. And check out the blog, drintimacy.wordpress.com, where you can get a lot more information. And then you may want to visit my website, drintimacy.com, where you can pick up a copy of my book, um, The Spirits of Sexual Perversion Reference Book. And, and just continue to follow along and feel free to contact me um, if, you, if you like prayer or you have a specific question or comment, feel free to contact me. And I thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Intimacy, on this webcast of the Insights from Dr. Intimacy YouTube show. And I'll see you next time.